Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today I just want to do some random sniffing, sampling with you guys. I just, you know, I went into my sample stash and just pulled out a whole bunch of stuff. I don't even know what's in here, but yeah, just some random sniffing. I really like doing that too, just getting my first impressions out there. And um, yeah, like I said, I just grabbed some stuff and hopefully <laughs> hopefully we can uh, uh, find something good in here. We'll see. So let's just choose something from this bag here. Um, oh, this is interesting. Ex Nihilo Sweet Morphine. Um, very nice pink juice. I know this house is extremely expensive. There was a few from this house that I actually really liked that I tested a while ago. Uh, one of my favorite ouds comes from this house and it's called Oud Vendôme and it's like this very um, airy peachy kind of oud, a fruity oud, uh, where the oud isn't so like intense or in your face. It's just like a very nice soft fruity oud which I really liked. I also really liked a viper green from this house. Um, it's been a while since I've smelled it but I do remember smelling it in the store and I was like wow that smells amazing. <laughs> so it's a green fragrance that was just very bright and natural smelling and um, yeah I really enjoyed that. So let's give this a try. Sweet morphine. I don't remember trying this yet before. Sorry. Let's see what this is about. Don't know what the notes are. It's pleasant. <laughs> it's a sweet, very soft, almost powdery floral scent. What I'm imagining when I smell this is if you took a bunch of flowers and somehow converted that into a powder. <laughs> added some extra sugar or some vanilla, some kind of sweetness to this to this um, floral powder or floral dust. And if you were to like just sprinkle that on top of you, that's what this smells like to me. It's quite pretty. I do like this. Yeah, very subdued. I really like the texture of this where it's not heavy or just... Um, I don't know how to explain that. It's quite airy. I really like that feeling where it just feels like on my skin it would just be that kind of fragrance that just has this nice um, waft, I guess. Whereas some fragrances just feel so bottom heavy and they just feel like they just sit there and then don't do nothing, <laughs> anything. Um, but yeah, this is a nice, soft, elegant, classy floral scent that is reminding me of powder or dust and very airy and light. So let's see what the notes are in this one. Sweet morphine. Um, wow, yeah, the, the juice in the bottle is extremely pink, like almost like a hot pink. <laughs> very cute. Let's see. So the notes, lilac, bergamot at the top. Middle notes are mimosa, absolute, iris, and rose. And base notes are heliotrope, bourbon vanilla, orris, vetiver, and patchouli. It's pretty. It is pretty. It's very like dainty. It gives me this feeling of like a fairy. <laughs> what a fairy would smell like is this. Because it just has that nice um, powdery, dusty feeling, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. It's nice. <laughs> so let's move on. That was Sweet Morphine by Ex Nihilo. Let's see what else is in here. Okay. Uh, okay, I found one. So this one here is called um, Bocanera by Orto Parisi really dark juice. I have heard about this perfume and I even remember some of the notes for some reason. I think someone mentioned it somewhere or I read it somewhere um, but I don't recall ever trying it yet. So um, yeah this is like a 
patchouli chocolate scent. Let's see here. So this is Bocanera from the house of Orto Parisi. Ooh, this is like very dark chocolate, like thick, almost bitter dark chocolate where, you know when you can buy those um, chocolate bars and they have like the high 99% cacao in it? Think of that, and I'm thinking like a big block of it, not just like a little piece. This is like one big block of it. <laughs> so it's the kind of chocolate that is not like super sweet or anything like that. It's a dark, semi-sweet, bittersweet chocolate. Yeah, very earthy. I am also getting this earthy patchouli in here, which kind of, for me, so far in this test trip, um, it would probably be different on skin, um, but the patchouli seems to be taking a back seat to this big chocolate block. <laughs> wow, almost like a cement heavy block of chocolate. Cement-like. Uh, what else here? Mm, it smells very natural. I'm also getting some woody notes in here. Mm. Yeah, it's very, it's very nice. I really like, I like dark chocolate. I like eating dark chocolate. I like the way dark chocolate smells. <laughs> and I like the dark chocolate in Taste of Fragrance by uh, Mugler Angel. Sorry, Angel Taste of Fragrance by Mugler. So it's that kind of dark chocolate where it's not overly sweet. Wow, this is very smooth as well. Mm, very pleasant, you guys. If you like dark chocolate specifically, you probably like this. And what I'm smelling here is just a nice, simple dark chocolate with some earthy notes, patchouli, probably some woods, maybe some vetiver, but predominantly just a big block of dark chocolate <laughs> is all I'm picturing with this one. So I am going to check what the notes are in this one quickly. Um, Boca Nera. Bear with me, guys. <laughs> so here is what the bottle looks like. You can see how dark brown the juice is. So notes in this one are... Hmm, there are no notes listed. Oh, there are notes. <laughs> dark chocolate, sandalwood, chili pepper, black pepper, ginger, and musk. So I thought there was patchouli in here. In the notes, there's no patchouli, but I am getting like this dark, I mean, earthy patchouli in the background of a, you know, <laughs> very nice dark chocolate scent. I really like this. Mm -hmm. Think of those high concentration, high percentage chocolate bars, very high quality, expensive and then just have like one humongous big block of it sitting right in front of you on top of a log of sandalwood. <laughs> yeah, there's some spices in here too, chili pepper, black pepper. I'm not finding it really spicy on this test trip at the moment, but it's nice. Mm. <laughs> I like that. So that's Bocanera Orto Parisi. Let's do some more. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Side effect. Side effect. Isn't that from... I think that's Initio, is it not? Side effect. I think it's Initio. I'll, I'll find out later. <laughs> so I have not tried this one. I don't know anything about it, but I have heard a little bit here and there maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm mixing it up with something else. But let's see what side effects about. Ooh. Okay, so it's sweet, spicy. There's like a leather or tobacco kind of scent in here. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> 
Yeah, when I'm smelling this for some reason, I'm thinking of Jazz Club by um, Maison Margiela. And it doesn't smell exactly like that. But for some reason, I smell this and I'm already thinking of that same kind of imagery where maybe you're sitting in a gentleman's club and everyone has a cigar and they're wearing like these silk robes. I don't know why I'm having that <laughs> imagery with this one. But yeah, there's smoke, cigar smoke in the air. Um, some people are, are like drinking some maybe rum or whiskey or something like that. It's quite smoky and they're sitting on like this really nice leather ottoman and it's quite, what's the word, gentlemanly. I am picturing a, a distinguished, rich gentleman with his fancy uh, Cuban cigars. Yeah, this is quite nice as well. I'm not sure if it's for me. Yeah, I'm not sure this is for me, but I am picturing that whole scenery of a smoky place with uh, cigars, leather ottoman couch, rum and whiskey in the glass, smoke, woods. Yeah, that whole imagery <laughs> is this side effect. <laughs> Now let's see what the notes are in Side Effect and see who this is by. I think it's Initio, but now I'm just doubting it. Um, let me see here. Side Effect. Oh yes, it is Initio. Initio Parfums Privés. Let me show you the bottle. All right. Let's see what's in here. There's only four notes listed in this one. There's rum, vanilla, tobacco, and cinnamon. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I do smell some leather in here too. But I think, yeah, it's quite nice too. I don't think, it, I, I, for some reason, I'm not picturing myself wearing this, but I do find it a pleasant smell. <laughs> I love those notes. Cinnamon, rum, vanilla, tobacco. I love those notes. But if it comes to those notes in particular, like the vanilla, tobacco, I am, my heart belongs to tobacco vanille, <laughs> which I, is my favorite tobacco scent, I think. Yes, I think it is. So that's Side Effect by Initio, which I think is quite nice too. Nice imagery. I like I like this this uh, picture that it's giving to me when I smell this. Yeah. Shall I do some more? Let's let's do let's do uh, another one. Uh, hmm. Herba pura. Herba pura. I think this one is. Is it Zerjoff? It could be. I think it's Zershoff, one of those collections where it's like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll find out later, but I think that's it. So Herba Pura. Let's see. I have not tried this either. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, so this is a sweet... A sweet scent but I'm finding it to be like very sharp like a sharp punch of fruit in your face <laughs> wow it's very wow this is just so like intense it's very intense and it's not one fruit that I smell I'm smelling like a combination of different fruits like a fruit salad yeah um there's something um yeah i'm gonna say sharp again there is just something very like i don't know what it is it is an intense um fruit salad scent where that intensity is is like making me feel a bit awkward and 
maybe a, a little bit metallic, at least just on the texture. Maybe it's probably different. It is probably different on skin. But these are just my first impressions. Ooh, I'm having... Yeah, this is not making me feel very well. <laughs> Sharp, piercing, intense sweetness um, of a fruit bowl making me feel uncomfortable. Maybe it's like musk, but a very sharp <laughs> musk that uh, I'm not sure is for me. Herba Pura. All right, so it comes in this really cool bottle. Very um, teal. Is that the color? Teal, turquoise, <laughs> something like that. And let's see here. Okay, top notes are Sicilian orange, Calabrian bergamot, and Sicilian lemon. So a lot of citrus. Middle notes is fruits. It just says fruits, nothing else, not which type of fruit. Base notes are white musk, Madagascar, vanilla, and amber. I'm gonna do one more, you guys. I just feel like I'm in the mood to test. Ah, let's give this one a try. This is, oh no, this one has evaporated. <laughs> This one was Aqua Ezucoro from Profum Aroma, which I have tried, which I do like as well. It's very cotton candy, intense, very intense. Like think of pink sugar, but better quality and even stronger. So let's try, look for another one. Let's try this one, Farah. Farah, I think, is from Braycourt, Paris, and I know that some people have said that this smells similar or maybe is a dupe of um, Ombre Narguilé, which is one of my favorite scents, favorite gourmands uh, from the House of Hermes. So let's see, like, I don't remember smelling this Farah. I don't remember. <laughs> but let's see uh, if this is close to Ombre Narguilé as people have said. Mm. <laughs> this is really good. Okay, it's very spicy. Ooh, it's it's quite jammy too. I didn't really find Arbor Nargile jammy, but there's something like a jamminess in here. A jammy sweetness, like prunes or raisins, it's kind of making me think of. With some um, like cinnamon or nutmeg or clove, you know, that combination. I kind of get that combination also in the Ombre Narguilé. Yeah. But this is very jammy and dense, almost like a, like a compote. Maybe of prunes or plum, raisins, that kind of thing. I like this. <laughs> it doesn't smell exactly like Ombre Narguilé, but I can see I can see a connection between the two for sure. Where you have this spiciness, maybe some tobacco as well, uh, sweetness. Warm, cozy, delicious, maybe like a pie filling. <laughs> I'm thinking of those butter tarts from, well, they make butter tarts in Canada. I haven't seen them here in the Netherlands, but I'm thinking of that filling of butter tarts, which I am also getting in here. So for this one, so far, I like this and not exactly like Ombre Narguilé, according to this first impressions, but, but similar, has the same qualities, I think. Nice, very, very, very nice. <laughs> so let's see now what the notes are. And this one, this is gonna be the last one that I sniff, uh, just to give my nose a break. Um, Farah. Break court. And of course, with first impressions, not really, meant to be taken seriously. They just are literally first impressions. Um, 
I have to sometimes emphasize that, that <laughs> of course we have to wear perfumes on our skin and like see how it works on the, on the skin and how it develops and everything. These are just my quick, quick thoughts, I guess. <laughs> so in this one, Farah, the notes, ooh, beautiful, beautiful notes. Uh, there's cinnamon, styrax, and bergamot in the top. Middle notes, dates, white honey, leather, and Virginia cedar. Base notes are benzoin, tonka bean, French labdanum, patchouli, and musk. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's lovely. It's delicious. Yeah, I like this. I think out of these ones, I think my favorite, just based on my first uh, sniff, you guys, or first impressions, I think this would be my favorite, the Farah. I really liked the uh, Bocanera, that dark chocolate thing. And my least favorite was the Herba Pura. That one was just... Ooh. <laughs> On the paper. Yeah, it got even more fruity. Hmm. But I still smell a sharpness in here that I'm not sure sits well with me, but yeah. Anyways, that was my long testing video <laughs> of these fragrances. Uh, Sweet Morphine, Bocanera, Side Effect, Herba Pura, and Farah. If you guys want to share with me in the comments what you think of any of these fragrances, please let me know um, if I should continue testing these further. Maybe you could recommend any of these. <laughs> that would be appreciated. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.